Hi, I'm Dr. Arden Brown, Educational Audiologist with MFNERC. Along with the rest of the Educational Audiology team, we have developed a hearing screening protocol manual. In this manual, it goes through the process of hearing screenings. It is basically a summarization of the video that you are watching. Hearing screening is very important because 80% of learning is through hearing, so if the kids are not hearing, guess what? They're not learning. So early identification will help improve the quality of their overall life. So we really do need to identify early on. And in this lovely manual, we have all the forms that you need at the back to help you with the screening. Two of the main important ones are right here in front of me. We have one for the classroom. What you need to do is for each classroom, fill out all the information, plus all the students down the first column. If you have more than 25 students, you're gonna have two sheets. Then for each student, you're gonna fill out an individual hearing screening form. Put in all the information, the date of the screening, and for every sound that a child hears and they lift up their hand, you make a check mark. If you get check marks throughout the whole thing, you are gonna check off a pass. If they did not hear one of the sounds, you're gonna make an X. Even if there's only one X in here, you're gonna mark retest. At that moment, once all the kids are done, you're gonna take this information from each student and fill out the form here because all of those little check marks are in these columns. If there are a child that needs to be retested, you're going to rewrite their name over on the second column and you're going to retest them in about three to four weeks. And that's where the bottom portion of their page comes in. You put in the date, you put in the check marks for every spot that they heard. If they did not hear in one spot, you put an X. If there is even one X, you're going to check off refer. You're going to take this information transfer it back over to this sheet. This sheet you're going to fax to us, plus a referral form so that we can ensure that these students get a full diagnostic assessment. And if you have any questions or concerns at any time, please feel free to contact us. We'll be more than willing to help you. Thank you. All right, setting up for school screening, you're getting out the audiometer. Make sure it's a nice quiet room. And try not to keep it in a cold place at night. In other words, don't leave it in your car. We have the headphones and we have the power cord. Okay. First thing we should plug in is the power cable. It goes in right here. right side and a left side. Red side is the right side. And yes, the cables do wrap up. Make sure that they are untangled. There's a red jack or an R and that's where the red one goes in and the left goes in the blue slot. I then look at the equipment, make sure it is all on. There are different things. I usually suggest changing it to an FM signal because it's, it's easier for the children to hear. I put on the headphones, red is for right. And I'm doing a listening check. In the manual, there will be instructions. I push the button to hear the tone. I can hear it in the right ear. Then I change the frequency and I repeat. And then I switch over to the left ear. Do this exact same thing. And that is my way of verifying that the machine is ready for screening. Because sometimes it may have been dropped and if that is the case, you may get some weird sounds and then it's not viable to be used for screening and need to be sent in for repair. Um, Right now, we are ready to get the students. All right. Hi, Anna, come on in. We're gonna do a hearing screening. 
All right. Oh, I got your name, your grade, your teacher. I have everything down here. Okay. Have you had your hearing screen before? Okay. So what we're gonna be doing is listening for some little beeps. Every time I hear a beep, I lift up my hand. I can lift my hand this time. How high can you lift your hand? Great. All right. So now I'm gonna play my little beep for you so you can actually hear it. Good job, I beat you, but this time you beat me. All right, you're ready. So I'm gonna put on the headphones so you can hear those beeps even better, but some are gonna get really tiny, so I need you to listen really hard, okay? The red one goes on the right ear and the blue one goes on the left ear, and then I can adjust the headphones to fit the head nicely. All right. So we start off in the right ear. Here we go. Excellent job, Anna. You did a great job. You're all done. You can head back to class now. Thank you.